we are supposed to look at two graphs of the kinetic energy, potential energy, total energy versus displacement and again all those three energies to be plotted on y axis against the time. Right? So, the energies are to be taken on the y axis as well as the displacement or the time has to be taken on the x axis. So, to understand that this diagram which we discussed is more important, right? this will clear our perspective of the graphs. So, at these times we know the value of kinetic energy as well as the potential energy maximum or minimum. Okay? So, as simple as this one that kinetic plus potential is equal to total energy which is half k square. Correct? So, if potential energy is minimum that is zero here and here the kinetic energy would be maximum because kinetic plus potential is total energy then the maximum sorry half k square then over here the kinetic energy over here sorry the maximum kinetic energy would be half k square in the same way half k square in the same way half k square. So, wherever you find the simple harmonic oscillator or the mass at time 0 t by 2 or t or at mean position the maximum kinetic energy is half k square that is the total energy okay? and over there the potential energies are 0. In the same way if I make potential energy maximum by taking kinetic energy 0 that means here and here I will get the maximum potential energy because this is 0 as half k square. So, the maximum potential energy right u max that is equal to half k square and over here again half k square. So, simply we are going to plot this over here. Okay? So, the displacement is taken along x axis. Now, displacement is 0 here, displacement is positive this side, displacement is negative this side. Okay? So, where is displacement 0 at mean position okay? and displacement is 0 over there kinetic energy is maximum and potential energy is 0. So, this is the maximum energy, this energy corresponds to half k a square, the graph cannot go beyond that because the total energy cannot exceed half k a square. So, the first point that I am going to draw is the following. So, everywhere where the displacement was 0 that means mean position the energy. So, here y 0 and the energy is maximum. So, y 0 energy maximum that is this point. So, all three mean positions are covered over here. Now, wherever the value of y is plus a that means value of y is plus a at the mean position on the other side that means I am talking about this point right over here y is plus a y is plus a so y is plus a over there you have zero kinetic energy zero kinetic energy so y plus a and zero kinetic energy over here so this is my point in the same way y minus a kinetic energy is zero y corresponding to minus a the kinetic energy is 0. So, I get this point. Now, the shape of the graph would be parabolic. I will explain you why okay, in a moment. In the same way, now let us talk about the potential energy. So, potential energy is 0. Potential energy is 0 at mean position. So, here, here and here. Wherever you have y 0, potential energy is 0. So, this is the graph of kinetic energy. Now, here y is 0, the potential energy is also 0 like this and when the spring is compressed or extended. So, here the spring is compressed or extended. So, at x is equal to sorry at y is equal to plus a, y is equal to minus a, you have maximum potential energy half k square. So, y plus a maximum potential energy half k square this is half k square and this is a half k square a and again y minus a half k square so like this half k square minus a so I am going to get the graph 
like this. This is the potential energy graph. Okay, I'll explain you why this is not a straight line graph. You cannot simply draw a triangle like this and this. It is because of the fact that kinetic energy is half k a square. This is let me write down ke to avoid confusion between this k which is spring constant and this k right minus half k y square. If you look carefully you are plotting kinetic energy in y axis correct over here and then this is the displacement which is plotted along which axis x axis. So the displacement is plotted along x axis. So instead of y I am writing axis and then you have a square. So you can never have a straight line because y is equal to mx plus c the power of y and x are 1 you can have a straight line. Here the power of kinetic energy is raised to 1 and the power of displacement is raised to 2. So y axis you have 1 power x axis you have 2 as a power. So this is a equation of parabola. That's why you are getting curved graph in this way. In the same way, the potential energy U is very much clear it is half ky square. So energy is again plotted on y axis, so y to the power 1. Displacement is plotted on x axis to the power 2, so again it has to be a parabolic graph. Okay. Now let's look at all the graphs. First of all, let's take kinetic energy. So kinetic energy was 0 at which time? here at t by 4 and at 3 t by 4 the kinetic energy was 0 due to the extreme position velocity was 0. So first of all t by 4 here kinetic energy is 0 because this is energy and this is time here again the kinetic energy is 0. Now where do you have kinetic energy maximum at mean position so mean position at time 0 you have maximum kinetic energy again this point corresponds to half k square. Okay, and at t by 2 it is at mean position. So at t by 2 half k square. So the point lies over here. At again capital T it reaches the mean position. Half k square is the maximum kinetic energy. Now the nature of the graph is like this. And let's look at that particular part that why it is like that. So kinetic energy is half k a square minus half k y square. So k kinetic energy that is half k a square minus half k instead of y I am going to write down a sin omega t but it is square so square will appear here as well as sin square. So you can very well see kinetic energy sin square function. Okay. So if sin graph is like this half of the sine graph up half down and the square the negative part will also go up so the square will be like this because now in square the negative part will be removed. So the kinetic energy is sine square graph so it can never be a straight line. Look at let us look at the potential energy graph that is equal to half k y square so half k a square sine square omega t. Now let us look at where the potential energies are 0. Potential energies are 0 at time 0, then at time t by 2 and at time capital T because the spring extended or compressed will only have potential energies. So here, here and here you will have 0 potential energies. So at time 0 you have 0 potential energy. At time t by 2 you have 0 potential energy at time t you have 0 potential energy. Okay? Now you have the maximum compressed state of the spring at t by 4. So highest potential energy k square over here and highest potential energy at 3 t by 4 over here. Energies are never negative so there is no chance of graph going downwards. Okay? So I am going to join the graph like this and again at t the energy becomes 0. Okay? So this is the again you can't draw it in a straight line because potential energy is sine square function so it has to be a curved graph.